Hello everyone. Welcome back to channel Tech Bytes with Keshav. Today we will discuss about how to use Google Library JSON to parse an API response where result array is not having any key. Right. With that I mean let us say JSON array is there as part of a response which is containing a list of employees. But that array is not having any key. So now we want to extract that data using Google library JSON. So let's see how can we do that. So in our last video, we discussed about how to fetch a particular employee, right? So it could be We discuss about this particular function, right? Over here, we created one POJO named as employee, right? This will pass all this data. And then we passed it using Google library JSON. Okay. Sim similarly, we discuss about how to pass a response this is a particular record we discuss uh, we discussed about this also employees they're coming there as part of json array json array is having a key name result with this also we can pass it today we will discuss about this particular scenario we have a json array we have a list of employees but json array is not having any key still we want to fetch the data right so let's see how can we do that so over here already we have an employee pojo created right as per our last video so now we can use the syntax, the old syntax, but over here we can make it like employee array, right? We can make it an array and same way we can use it over here. Now this will return a array of three, uh, in, in our case, we have three employees as, as part of this. So it will return all three employees as part of this employee, employees array, the small change will make make the app uh, will solve a problem let's see how Use, uh, using a test case we can see all three employees getting passed we have Keshav we have Amit we have Vikram right so with the small change even this JSON uh, Google JSON can handle that thing where key is not present in case of and JSON array right next thing that we, uh, we would like uh, I would like to discuss in this video would be how to uh, why or uh, what uh, what are streams in Java, right? And uh, why should we use uh, streams? The simple answer would be streams, uh, those were introduced in Java version 8, are a very, uh, is a very useful feature and I would say they are uh, used in abundance to, for, uh, to promote re uh, code uh, readability and with the less uh, number of lines, we can achieve a task. Basically, these are used where uh, like we want to perform certain tasks in a, in a, inside a loop to filter or something kind, extract some data or some uh, for that. So that, uh, those things we can easily do with the help of streams. So I will present with the two scenarios, right? So those two scenarios would be like uh, first will be like now we have got uh, three employees as part of the sample response. First case will be like uh, we want those employees. A list of those employees who uh, which joined 
after 2020. So what we will do first entire list first of this employees, then for loop, then inside for uh, if it is if uh, employee dot joining year is greater than 2020, then extract that put that employee into a particular list. Then once the we will come out of that loop, then return that uh, list that is being uh, created. Something that's like this we will do, right? This is using for loop. Second scenario will be like, uh, uh, yes. Now, if you see that for Keshav is having a, a manager as Vikas, Amit is also having manager as Vikas, but Vikram is having manager as Mahesh. Now we want to extract only those employees which are having manager as Mahesh. Again, Tradition, like traditional approach, we can go for loops, if condition, combination of all, make it a mess and the things like that. If you want to make it uh, tidy, right, so we can go for streams with a lesser number of lines, we will see how and then we can perform a task. So I have already a uh, code snippet is there, so I can directly use that, right. I will explain you how. I will call these methods before total employees being returned. Uh, I I can understand, but uh, this uh, in this scenario, this uh, I have only used over here because uh, the in uh, focus over here is how to demonstrate that streams. Right, although it can uh, usage it call calling uh, can be at different place. Right, so now we have a list of employees first as part of this. We got made made it pass to this. This particular function employees which joined after a particular year, which year we passed it as a function parameter. Let's see. We can use the syntax arrays or stream. What to stream? Right, employees. We have an array. We can search for. Uh, list also over here right so we can make it like then filter over here the syntax will begin like it is uh, called as predicate right so over here I can name it anything I can make it like employee and it is just like uh, in for loop we have employees will be coming right and in, uh, in left side before colon we have that particular employee as a particular record right so we will make it like predicate symbol x first we have to check if we are if we are not sure that whether that uh, thing can if it can be a null we have to uh, apply that null check over here this but it is again i would say x is referring to a particular record as part of stream uh, this stream at a particular time though it will stream or it will uh, uh, pass through all the records then the main condition x dot get joining here greater than equal to as per our condition we wanted which joined after a particular year so we will make it greater than it will be replaced by 2020 right so now another thing would be like we said that it can be like a, a list also that we can use or set so like uh, we can make it like this also collect dot to list is also there tool set is also there but the total uh, employees that we want to sign is, is a array of employees like this. So we can make it like we have to cast it to like this. Second was get employees having particular manager name. Right. So, so we can see that using streams we, uh, we have achieved that also in a single just a single line of code. And yes, not null condition, predicate, not null, manager name, what's that? Over here it will be coming as Mahesh is equal to x dot get manager. X means as part of each iteration. In loops we have iteration. So employee employee total three records we have as part of this. All three will be iterated. So first it will uh, for uh, Keshav, then for Amit, then for Vikram. 
whenever there is a match it will uh, put it aside and then finally list uh, assign it to this right so as over here as a safe side we can go for this also ignore air so let's say we have amit a small a capital a so those things can be discarded making it as case insensitive so let's see whether it is uh, streams whether it is solving a purpose or not and making it clean code so as per this it should as discussed it should turn two employees which are greater than having joining is it greater than 2020 we have amit and vikram okay let's see that two employees amit 2021 vikram 2022 fine let's see whether this is also working as expected or not major name Mahesh, this we passed as part of this. So, from here we can see Major name Mahesh is only of, uh, I would say, Vikram. Let's see whether that is also going fine. We have one record, we have Vikram. Right. So, likewise, uh, we discussed about two things in this video using JSON uh, for parsing that response also where the key name of the json array to be uh, parsed is uh, not there then also we can go for this json google library json secondly we discussed about importance of uh, using uh, streams right so they are heavily used and uh, for to they will enhance code readability with less lines of code and yes so definitely we should use it where uh, wherever uh, it is uh, convenient to use as compared to loops and then uh, to extract that data right so we avoided loops we avoided inside that if condition so many things we avoided in a single line we uh, told uh, to that uh, instructed that what we actually need right so i think this was all for this video so if you are new to the channel, you can please subscribe to it and if you like the video, you can like it and stay connected for more videos on the way. Thank you.